In this video, we'll look at Intuit Sign for Profile, and we'll have a look at the user dashboard. There are three videos discussing Intuit Sign for Profile. There's a video on the user side, a video for the client side, and then there's this video, where we'll have a look at the profile dashboard for Intuit Sign. In this video, we'll look at the Intuit Sign for Profile dashboard, uh, what it consists of, the document sent back from the client, and we'll have a look at what happens with the T183 when you send that document to be signed. Let's go have a look at Profile. I'm in Profile. I'm on a file where I sent the T183. Notice I sent it with the fields blank which you should do. Uh, we're signed in, so I can, I can go to File, eSignature, Dashboard. I'll just walk through how we complete the file. So this is the account I used, and you can see here I sent multiple emails. So if I click on here, view all it'll expand what's there and i can scroll down this is the one i most recently signed so what i can do is it says here i've got the e-signature completed so i'm going to download it by clicking on this drop down box on the download and it'll send the the document to be saved and I'll just type T183 and that's downloaded now. Let's go have a look at the downloaded file. This is the zip. So when you download what you get is the T183 signed and a summary. I'll open that. What I have here is the email it was sent to, when it was sent, when it was viewed, and when it was signed. So it's there's a verification here. There's an IP address, which I kind of blocked out. Let's go back to profile, though, and I can see the information was not completed. I had to manually complete this information. So you will have to complete this information from either the T183 or from the authentication form. I'm back in the dashboard and let's just have a look at the, the dashboard now. Let's look at the setup possibilities. I can set whatever I want for the status. So maybe I just want to know the ones that have come back with signatures. Maybe I'm looking for someone specific. There's also a toggle here. Maybe I don't want some of this information so I can uncheck it. So there's a couple options there. Up at the top, there's if the authentication didn't come back, you'll see it there. Any expired, you'll see here. So it says attention required because if it's authentication fail, which there are none here, or expired, there are none action required. So I can click to see which ones are completed and which one I'm waiting for a reply. There's a drop down here to show history, and it gives you information about the envelope history. So if I want to take an action, I actually click on there. The drop down is really just basically to see the history, which has important information. If you want to take an action, you have to actually click on the box. And that's the the dashboard. As a reminder, we have three videos in total for different parts of the Intuit sign for profile. We also have more support options at our website. It's profile dot into it dot ca
hope you found these videos useful.